Okay, so I this is kind of in the middle because I wanted to make sure I could figure it out. But this is the Brimes TV stand from Ikea. It's the black one. So I um, I got really confused in the beginning because it has, you know, you got to put in these rails here. Um, and I'm just, I'm not a carpenter. I don't know how to put in drawers or anything like that. But I figured out what you do is you put the one that says R on that one side. And all of the other ones, you put the L's. So there should be three L's, and you put those here, here, and here. Um, and then after that, it's pretty straightforward. I got it to uh, this part here where, you know, I've put all the dowels in here on the sides. Um, the manual's pretty easy to follow for that part. Um, uh, let's see here. So I just did step six, which is where you um, take the two black ones here. They're the smallest. Um, and you aim the little circle corners out. And it comes with four pretty big bolts. And they go in just around on the other side there. There's two big holes. They only fit in one spot. So there's two there also. So now I'm going to move on to step seven, which is uh, just putting more of these. I don't even know what these are called, but they've got like a screw on one side and then this little plastic spacer in the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how it turns out. So I figured out this the little two times here means two go in the bottom hole and then two go in the top hole. And that's on the opposite side of where you've got these little guys here. So if you look over here, you're going to put it in this top hole. And then down here, you're going to put it in the bottom hole. So there they are in. There's the one in the top, and the bottom, and the bottom, and the top. And I just used my little screwdriver. All right, so now we're moving on to step eight, and it looks like they want us to put everything else on right now. So um, I'm guessing these little dowels are going to go into like this little spot maybe. I don't know. I'm going to mess around with it, and I'll try to figure it out. But I'll be right back. I just wanted to correct myself because actually what they want us to do is these little guys here. These ones. They want those to go on um, right there and right there. And then, of course, the one on the end. That one can go on. But the one I was going to do, they don't want us to put that one on yet. So that just figures because that's how it always is when I put anything together. <laughs> All right. So I'll do that real quick. I got the first one on. It's not quite tight all the way. I think it's okay for now, but I had to like lift it up to really get it on there. So we'll see. I'm gonna move on to the next one. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now. They both, they all went on. That one went on, that one went on. I just like folded it up. And these ones I folded this way. And that one too, that one. So. Now I'm going to do that one. Okay, I lied again, guys. Sorry. Step nine. They don't want me to put that one on yet. Of course, I want to put it on. But uh, they want me to put these little circle-y things on here. Probably to tighten those guys up. Good, because they're really loose. Um, so I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm on the fifth little screw in thing but I wanted to show you one before I finish it because it's kind of interesting oh, hold on one sec okay sorry um, my son was talking to me about octonauts so okay so this is the little guy and I'm pretty sure it uh, just goes you gotta get so the screw is right there and the, there's a hook on it and it has to like go underneath so I just put it in there so that it's underneath 
And then when I put the screwdriver in, it should kind of sink in eventually, maybe. I don't know, it's not doing it. <sighs> that might be right. It's weird because the other ones look like that uh, right there. Like they sunk way in. So, I don't know. This one didn't do that, of course, because I'm trying to show you guys. <laughs> hey, yay, yay. Okay, so I thought this was pretty funny. We're moving on to step 10. And uh, I noticed they've got a picture of a little book here. <laughs> Which if you don't read, you are in trouble. They did not put that on the tool list. You gotta put the book underneath and prop it up. And then we're gonna take the, um, the little uh, track things here that say R. Um, they should have the R's on them and I'm guessing they're gonna hang off or something and that's why we need the book. So, there we go, step 10 with the uh, four screws. So, we'll do that next. There it is, I used my um, Stephen King, The Stand book, which I thought was perfect because it is, you know, standing on the TV stand. Anyway, um, all right, so let's put those things on. All right, there it is in, the first one right next to it. It's got the little R down there, top and bottom screws. And I'm gonna do the same thing on that one. Now, just a little thing in hindsight, this would have been way easier to do at the beginning. Like, you know, just put the one on the left side and then flip the board over and put it on the right side because it's kind of hard to do with your stand standing on a book. So, yeah. If you watch this all the way through before putting it together, put these on first. Left on one side, right on the other. Left on one side, right on the other. Um, yeah, would have been way easier. But that's okay, we got them on. So, going to move on to the next step here. Okay, so it doesn't say it, but when you get to step 11, this is box two. Um, so then you go to your little box and you open that one up. All right, we've got our last four dowels here. Or I guess there's five dowels here. Okay, we only need four. We put one of these back. Um, and we put it in these guys. Put one on each end. Um, I got the little holes on the top on both sides and then I think let me just double check it looks like they go in the bottom hole nice big blow up there so dowel in the bottom hole okay so now we're on to step 12 here and we're just gonna put those little boards right onto the little dowels that are sticking out here so here's one there's one on the next one and there's uh, one on the end so it should just fit right on both of those and then of course they're also on the bottom so one two boards and it looks like the little circle is um, if you look real close here it's on the inside so little circle top and bottom should be on the inside there we go it's on and the next step was just to put in those little um, tensioners. You just kind of pop them in just like we did before, top and bottom. Okay guys, I am super excited. Step 14 is to put the little other end on that I've been wanting to do since like step eight. So we get to do it now. And we just gotta fit it onto all the little dowels that are sticking out. It just is like a puzzle piece. Just put it together. All right, guys, step 15. Now that we got that board on, we're just going to put these little um, tensioners on. So it says four of them. Uh, oh, I see where we're at. Okay. So we're going to do one here, one down there, and then in here. There, too. So inside, top, and bottom. All right, so the next step is step 16. And we're gonna use our hammer to put these little black plastic guys um, into all of the holes along the back two panels there. And there should be spots for eight of them. So as I was putting these in, I figured out this, these are the feet. So this is so it doesn't scratch your floor. 
So they go all the way along the bottom, and I just tapped them right on in. It is really easy. Um, so I'm going to go right there next. I just realized, just in case somebody can't figure it out, you just stick it in the two holes, and seriously, you just tap it. Back and forth until it goes in. Nice and easy. All right, step 17. Uh, you get the panel out of box two, this big black one here. And it's got one side has holes on it, and that's the one you put up. And then we're gonna put those little, um, these things. <clears throat> the plastic, like, spacer guys in every hole, it looks like. But I'll double check, I'll get back. Just wanna clarify, there's, a uh, you know, sets of two and we're gonna put them in the outside holes on both sides. So the outside, all the way down. And on the other side, the outside holes. There it is. They're in there on the outer hole. Hopefully I didn't screw up and put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> we will find out next step. All right, so for step 18, I got these uh, little metal brackets and then the sharp screws. These ones have like a sharp little end. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get my phone. Come on, phone. Okay, well, whatever. You can see it. Um, and if you look at the board, um, I put one of the little brackets there already. There's a teeny tiny like little pinhole. And it's on the side with the uh, roughed up edge. So you're going to go like this, and then you're going to put a washer on this, those little rings, silver rings, and then we're going to just screw it in. So both sides for that. All right, I'll show you when I'm done. So it went right in. I didn't make it tight so that this is like adjustable because I have a feeling we're going to have to like tie it on to the back side of this at some point um, as like a stabilizer. Just a guess. But I'm gonna do this over there. And then we'll put it on. All right, I'm so excited about this part because see this little flip over sign? We gotta stand the thing up now and put the tabletop on. So I'm super excited. Let's do it. I'm hooked. This is so satisfying. Like this is the part that, you know, I'm like, I can do this. So the top's on, it looks pretty good looks nice um now we just got to put more of those little fastener things in it says eight of them so just look around on the inside find the little spots all right so now we have to lay it on the front um so that the top's over there and you know you're looking at the back of it here and then we're gonna put that big panel on it's over on the table. So this panel, you should have the uh, brown side out. Um, and it should go right up to the little edge on the top and all the way along. You can just like slide it up there. And then these little brackets should be kind of hanging out. So all the way across. And a nice flush edge over here too. So the next thing they want us to do is to take this little guy here. And it looks like it's just a nail guide because you get one of these and they just tell you exactly where they want you to put the little nails which came in this packet right here. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so step 22 all the way through 23, 24, 25, 26. They're just telling you where to put the little, you know, these guys. Um, which is basically four in between each opening and between the end. So you do four, 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 four. And then you also do four down here. And I drew a nice little line. Um, so that you don't accidentally go off. Um, yeah, just do a line from there to there. And then it turned out great. So I'm going to move on. Okay, guys, this is so exciting. We're moving on to drawer making. The last part was just standing it up and hooking it to the wall, which I'm not doing yet because, you know, what if I need to move it or something? So 
Um, but anyway, yeah, so I am just now going to start putting those little metal dowel things on the back side of the glass um, panel. Okay, so for the drawers, I put the uh, little metal um, and plastic guys right there and right there. And I did the same thing on both sides, so the holes are away. I mean, um, I put them in the ones on the top of where the line is. And then these were the um, next step after that. That is step 29, and it was just to put the little um, wooden dowels into the end. So if you have the little circles facing you, there should be a little dot right there. And then... Um, the kind of interesting dots on that side too um, and then same thing on this side except it should be facing away um, yeah just like that little wooden dowels and they are in the holes towards the left on that one and the holes towards the right on that one all right so I'll move on to the next step here so this is the drawer. I haven't secured it yet, but after I um, put these um, little side pieces on, I did one on each side, and then I tightened them in right there with these little guys. And then the directions after that, after step 31, told me to slide that little back panel on. Um, which it's gray on one side and brown on the other just that little cardboard kind of looking thing um, and it flops all over the place until you put the other piece of the shelf on um, which is step 33 um, and basically you kind of have to put one end in first and then kind of snap the other end in um, and it does fit. You just kind of have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it in there. But then it fits nice. So now I'm going to put the screws in on the side here. And that would be for both sides. And um, actually, I think it says to use a hammer. So I'm going to use a hammer. And I think these are the plastic guys here. Pretty sure. So I'll do that. And there they are. They went right in. I did kind of have to hold the other side a little bit so that it would actually fit flush because otherwise this little joint kind of gets stuck. So it did though. Would you stop making fun of me, Julie? Sorry, I was just saying. So you should have at this point three sets of these little guys left. Um, so when you lay them flat, the wheels should aim towards each other and then you'll know you have three sets. So, um, according to the diagram, it goes towards the back corner, the little wheel. So, when we hang it here, it should fit just like that. And then, um, I'm guessing we're going to screw in all over the place here. So, I will show you how it looks when I'm done. I love it when things go good. So, they went on perfect. Um, I did both sides. There's little pre-drilled holes and they go on with these little blunt screws right there. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that with the other two drawers and then I'm guessing we're going to just slip them on in there, I'm hoping. <laughs> this is taking me forever. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, next drawer. Okay, so there was one more thing to do before we finish this up but there's like a little hole when you're looking at the bottom of the drawer and it's right here teeny tiny little hole and what you're gonna do is take one of these sharp short um, screws and put it in there most of the way so like see how they in there they leave it out a little bit because the metal this thing here is gonna have to hook onto it so I'll do that quick and show you. I skipped ahead a little bit. I got carried away here. So I put this on. This is the handle. It was just the two long screws right here, those guys. And those just go right there. And then um, as for the bottom, this was a little tricky. Because um, I put the little screw in there. 
and then you think it's going to go there, but then this was sticking this way. You've got to twist it around so that that goes down and then, um, but also stays on this little screw because that's like your track. Um, but anyway, yeah, I finally got it on there. So there's the drawer. I got one completed. I just got, um, well, I got one mostly completed. So one and a half left to go. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. There it is. I put the drawers in and it's there and they open and close. Hey, hey, look at this. Woohoo! It's the first time for me. So I hope it helped somebody who was like me and the other ones just went too fast. So there you go. Bye y'all.